Hi, this is Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and I wanted to show you how to make a large honeycomb. I'm just going to be working in a small swatch here of about 19 stitches wide. And I'm going to chain two, turn, and we're going to go ahead and start the foundation rows for this. Now the foundation um, two rows for this are very similar to the large to the large cable. Okay, so I'm going to work three front post, double crochet. If you've never worked a front post before, you do not work it through the top loops like you normally would, but you simply bring the hook around the stitch like so, like you're giving it a belt, and then you just complete the double crochet, if it's a, in this case a front post double crochet stitch. Now I'm going to write, work a half double crochet as a spacer. That's going to be the center of one of the cables. The large honeycomb cable is actually worked um, really kind of based on working two large cables together. Okay, so the next thing I did, okay, we start from the beginning, three front post double crochets, half double crochet, three front post double crochets. I'm going to work another half double crochet, three more front post double crochets. half double crochet. Okay, just to show you what we have. And then one more set of three front post double crochets. Okay, now there are a few extra stitches here in my swatch. I'm just going to work half double crochets in these um, just to show you what it might look um, having this cable embedded into some other crochet fabric. Okay, now I'm going to chain two at the end of this row and at the end of um, every row for that matter while we're working this stitch. So let me go ahead and do my extra, just the extra fabric, which really don't count as part of the stitch. Okay, now I'm going to get ready to work back post double crochets. I'm going to work them from the back side. Now instead of going in the front door, we're going to come into the side of the stitch and come around the back like so, like we're giving it a belt from the back. And we complete the stitch as normal. Okay, these are good stitches to use all the, all the fingers of um, your non-dominant hand um, so you can kind of help guide the hook and know where to put the, the hook to form these stitches. Okay, I'm gonna, after I did the half double crochet, which is right here, I'm going to go ahead and work three more back post double crochets. Okay, I'm going to do that two more times. Okay, we have our half double crochet. And we're going to do three back post double crochets. Another half double crochet. And then three more back post double crochets. This is just giving us a nice foundation for our next move. And now we're going to work a half double crochet right in that turning chain. Of course, if you're working this um, cable in other, you know, amongst other fabric in your design, um, you would probably go on to something else at that point. Okay, now we are going to try to start the honeycomb. Now, if you've ever done the small honeycomb, I, I recommend you doing the regular honeycomb stitch or honeycomb cable on this YouTube, Bonnie Bay Crochet YouTube channel. What's going to happen is we're going to have these, these stitches here are going to be on the outside or on the top, and they're going to curve out in this direction. Now, this, these are going to be on the other side of the cable, and they're going to curve to the left or in this direction, I guess maybe to the right if you're watching the left-handed, but they're gonna they're gonna kind of like split and go opposite directions here, and that's gonna help hopefully help you understand what our next step is gonna be. Okay, so we're gonna skip these three. This is the crossing of the cable row, and we're gonna work a half double crochet right in the middle. Now we're gonna work three front post treble crochets. That's right, not doubles but trebles. I do mix it up here a little bit with this cabling, but I, I think if you stick with me, you'll understand why. 
Okay, so we have now we have three front post trebles. Now, normally we would just work in front, but I'm going to ask you to work in back of these stitches. And that's going to be a little bit of an acrobatic jump at first, but once you've done it a couple times, you'll see why. Here's a little peekaboo window here. What you can do is you wrap your hook twice. I'm going to bring the hook in through the window. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work three trebles, one each around each of these stitches. It's a little bit tricky at first because you have to kind of push the fabric down like so. Find that stitch and then complete the treble. That's one. Now when you're working like this, this is a really good opportunity to, to use those fingers and get used to what these stitches feel like. Okay, and make sure from the back side that you're confirming that yes, you are wrapping it around um, that formal or, or that former um, front post double and not along something else. Okay, so after we do that, it looks kind of like this. And each of the three stitches are hidden. Okay, now we're going to do a half double crochet. Now we're going to do this again, but we're going to do it the opposite and really it's an easier way. We're going to skip these three, half double crochet again. So you have two half doubles like this. It's pulled a little tight right now, but that's going to resolve itself in just a minute. Front post treble in these two stitches. One, two, Three. I am working these foundation stitches kind of quickly. Forgive me if that's throwing you. Um, I'm just assuming that everybody who is watching this is understanding how to to do the, the double crochets and treble crochets. I, I'm not taking a lot of time to explain those. Okay, now working in front. Now before we worked behind these stitches, well we're going to work in front of these now and we're going to front post treble in these three stitches starting with the one furthest away. one. Again, I can't show you, but my fingers back here in the back are doing an awful lot of work telling me where to put my hook. Okay. And this is something that just comes with practice. It is awkward at first. Yes. But you know, with practice, um, this, the muscle memory will kick in and you'll wonder you know, pretty soon you won't be able to get it wrong instead of worrying about getting it right. Okay, so I'm going to finish the fabric here just so you see how it bumps up against that. Notice how this fabric is kind of recessed and, and the, the cable kind of stands out. That's kind of our goal. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to finish these fabric-y stitches that have that has absolutely, well, not absolutely nothing, but very little to do with our technique that we're losing, we're using um, learning today. Okay, now we're going to do back post double, just like we did on the second row, but we're going to just work them straight across. This row is a little different. I'm going to work three back post double crochets back to double, not treble. And we're going to work a half double crochet right here, which is the center of where these stitches cross the last time. There's no stitch to put it in. Just put it in, you know, that little gap there between um, the crossing. Now we're going to do three more just straight across back post double crochets. Okay now we're going to skip the next half double crochet which is leaning inwards here and we're just going to work the half double crochet in the middle and trust me you're going to have to trust me on this your stitch count will remain constant by doing so. Okay now we're going to do this again three more back post double crochets one two, three, and again, the space in between where the two cables, where the two cables are crossing, put a half double crochet in between there. This helps to actually further define the cable for us. And so it doesn't just get lost in the post stitches and three more back post double crochets. Okay. Now we're going to just simply do a half double crochet in that turning chain. Chain two. And let me show you what we have now. Okay, so we have two cables kind of going in opposite directions. 
Now we are going to simply do a repeat. Okay, so this will be one, two, three, four. This will be rows five and six, which is a repeat of rows one and two, in which we're going to skip this first stitch, the half double, and we're going to start with our post stitches. Three front post double crochets. Half double crochet in the half double crochet, just like that, working through the tops. Three more front post double crochets, half double crochet in the center, and three more front post double crochets. Okay, half double crochet in the center here and three more front post double crochets. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish these fabric, just the half double crochets. Again, not part of the of the learning of the of the stitch, but just to filler. Okay, get those out of the way. Okay, now we're ready to do the next row, which is again a re it's kind of um, the same as row two, but this is row number six, I believe. See, one, two, three, four, yeah, six. Okay, we're going to do three back posts, double crochets. One, two, three, half double. There's a lot of repeating. Three more back post, double crochets. Half double in the center, and here's three more back post double crochets, another half double crochet in the half double crochet, and three more back post doubles one, two, three, and then we're going to do a half double crochet the next stitch. Let's chain two. Okay, so we are actually going to repeat those two rows one more time. So what we're going to do is we're going to make this a little bit longer. Um, so we're going to repeat um, rows, you see, one, two, three, four, five, and six again. So rows seven and eight are going to be a repeat of rows five and six, which you're going to work, work front post double crochet, half double crochet, um, repeated four times across, and then um, three back post double crochet, half double crochet, three back post double crochet, all the way across. I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll show you where I end up. Okay, I just completed um, the next two rows, which were repeats. See, one, two, three, four, okay, five, six, seven, and eight. So rows five, seven and eight are up here, we're the same as rows five and six. Now, this is the row, um, row nine, where we're going to actually we're going to bring be closing this back in. Okay, bringing bringing these outside um, rows, I guess, kind of back in. And this is how we're going to do that. We're going to skip the first post, the first row on the end, and the three post rows. We're going to half double crochet in the center. We are going to front post treble. Okay, this is where we use our treble during the crossing of the cable row in the next three. So we have three front post trebles. Now this is where this row is different from the one down here. What we did down here, we're going to do over here. And what we did down here, excuse me, we're going to mirror it up here. All that to say, we're going to work in front of these stitches on this side. And we're going to front post treble in the three stitches that we just skipped. Sorry about, I need to try to center it more here. Okay, now I'm going to work a half double crochet in the center, like so. I'm going to skip another three stitches, half double crochet in the next half double crochet. Okay, now we're going to front post treble in the next three stitches. One, two, three. Now this is where it differs. 
The last time we worked in front of these, well, we're going to work behind these three stitches by going in the hole, which is right here. We're going to work behind actually the four stitches, if you count the half double, and we're going to start by making that first front post treble working behind the last three trebles and half double. Okay, two. And the third one, I know it's hard to see. It's right around there. Again, I'm using my thumb right here and my, my Mr. Tall Man finger to try to find that stitch, just like so. I'm going to go ahead and do the filler stitches here. Um, okay, let me show you what I have now. It looks a little awkward. I know because I haven't smoothed it out with the next couple rows. But this is how we bring the, the cabling back in, kind of directing it a little bit more. Well, let's go ahead and work the next row as well. Chain two. Do my fillers. Okay, now we're ready for the stitch work. We're going to do three back post double crochets. One two, three, and then we're going to do a half double crochet in the center, like so. This is the center of where the two sections cross. Now we're going to do three more back post double crochets. This again is a repeat of, I believe it's row four. Okay, and then we do a half double crochet in the center. One, two, three, and we're going to do a half double crochet in between the crossing of the cable there. And then three more stitches. One, three more back post double crochets. And we're going to half double crochet in our turning chain. Chain two. And let's take a look at what we have. Okay, so we can see that that is smoothing out to make a nice little honeycomb. Okay, I'm going to do two more rows and then I'll show you how it looks after that. I've just completed two more rows. It was actually a repeat of rows one and two that we worked previously down here. I just worked them up here just to see just how nice and smooth this cabling can be. Now this is using worsted weight um, Red Heart Super Saver yarn. Now if you switch to some of the, the finer, um, thinner yarns, um, it, it even comes out, in my opinion, a little bit nicer. Um, in my book, Celtic Cable Crochet, I actually used this stitch in a design called the Blue Moon Shawl. And I'll try to stick a picture in this um, in the video so that you can see just how smooth that it, it actually comes out. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, take care. God bless. Bye-bye.